Okay, so what we're going to do in this video is to find the equation of a line that joins two points on the line. So we've got points A and B, and we're trying to find the line that goes through those two points. So we know that the equation of a line can be written as y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. And so we just need to find the values of m and c, and we'll have the equation of the line. So we'll start with the gradient. So we know that the formula for the gradient as we've already seen before, is y2 subtract y1 over x2 subtract x1, where the x1 and the y1 and so on are the coordinates of our two points that we know. So we just have to choose for one of these to be x1 and y1, and the other one to be x2 and y2. It doesn't actually matter in which way we choose that, as long as the x values go first and the y values go second, that we could have swapped around the ones and the twos, and we'll get the same answer. Now let's have a look. So that, that means if we substitute these in, we're going to be putting y values on top and the x values on the bottom, as the colours indicate. And the y2 subtract y1 is negative 4 subtract 4, which will be negative 8 over negative 4. Divide the two negatives, we get positive 2. So that's the slope. We've just found the gradient, and in fact we're halfway through the task of finding the line. So to find the value of c, then what we do now is we write down the line as we now know it to be equal to 2x plus c, because we found the value of m, and that now we're going to substitute a point, so that we can take either point a or b, and we'll substitute its values into the line. So we know that for point a, because it's on the line, its x and y coordinates will fit that line. So if we take the y value, and we substitute it into the equation, and the x value, then that will tell us what c must be. So if we multiply out that, we'll get 2 on the right there, which means if we solve that for c, then c is equal to 2. And if we had chosen point b as our point to substitute in, we'll just do that as well, then we would be substituting its x and y coordinates. And as we multiply that out, on the right-hand side, we'll get negative 6. As we solve that for c again, at the negative 6 to both sides, we'll end up with c is equal to 2. It's the same as we obtained with the other points, so it doesn't matter which point we substitute in, we'll get the same solution for C. We've now have found both M and C. In this case, they're both equal to 2, which means that the equation of this line is Y is equal to 2X plus 2. And we can inspect that on the graph over here by clicking that, and we can see that the Y-intercept here is indeed 2, the place where the line is crossing the y-axis is 2, and the slope is 2 because for every step we take to the right off the graph, we have to take two steps upwards to stay on the graph. So that's what the gradient of 2 means. And lastly, we actually can change the values of these a and b points, and we can see that the working will change as we do that. In this case, I've just made a, a line that has a slope of 1 and a y-intercept of 1, we could also could step through that again from the beginning with the new values in place to see how it all works. So basically this is going to work for any two points on the line. We just calculate the gradient first and then we substitute in one of those points into the equation to calculate the value of C and then we've got M and C and so we can calculate the equation of our final line.